Okay, here we go. You find a building, it's 10 units. It's 100 grand a unit they're asking. 100 grand a unit times 10 units is $1 million. You go to the bank, you tell them you wanna buy the building. You wanna borrow 80%. The bank loans you 800,000. Loan. 1 million from 800,000 is 200,000. That is your down payment. That's the structure of the deal, clean and simple. But you tell the bank, I'll borrow that 800 grand from you, but I want it at interest only for at least two or three years at 4% interest. The bank's gonna cry, no, no, no. Eventually it's okay, see you later. You'll find a bank that'll say yes. Sometimes you may even have to use a mortgage broker to help you if it's your first time and they'll get it done. There's a lot of banks out there with a lot of money to loan and as long as the property's decent and you're decent, they'll loan you that money and they'll work with you. Don't be afraid to try to bargain with banks. Everything is bargaining. There's nothing etched in stone in lending or buying real estate. Everything's negotiable. Don't be afraid to negotiate. You can always go up, but you can't go down. Let's say everything works out. You got a loan. You buy the building for a million bucks. You owe the bank 800 grand. You put $200,000 out of your hard earned savings and money your grandpa left you or wherever it came from. And then you have 10 apartments paying you 1,000 a month. That gives you a monthly income of 10,000 a month. 120,000 a year. It should be less. But taxes, property taxes meaning insurance, some sort of maintenance, some sort of management, utilities, pay the lawn guy, maybe there's a pool there, I don't know. I'm over way over uh, uh estimating at half of your income will go to your expenses just to play it safe. That's a very safe zone you're in right now. 5,000 a month out of your 10,000 a month, which is your expenses, which is $60,000 a year. That's gonna leave you the other half, 5,000 and another 60 is what you call your NOI, net operating income but there's one person we can't forget the bank wants their interest on their money they make their living off of that four percent you owe the bank eight hundred thousand dollars on that million dollar purchase eight hundred thousand dollars at four percent equals Eight times four, 32. You don't need a friggin' sixth grade education to know that one. Cause I never went past the sixth grade. Eight times four is 32. $32,000 a year in interest. You're left with 5,000 a month or 60,000 a year. 32,000, now I need a calculator. Divided by 12, you're gonna pay the bank every single month. Two, six, 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 and interest only. I don't like six, 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 even though I don't believe in the devil. Let's say, round it up to 2,700. Out of your 5,000 a month you're collecting, you're gonna make a monthly payment to the bank of 2,700. Out of 60,000 a year, you're gonna pay the bank, it's 32,000. Back to the calculator. 5,000 a month minus 2,700. You're left with $2,300 a month or annually $28,000 a year. All this for a $200,000 investment. Typically, a $200,000 investment, you'd be hitting a home run with any brokerage or anywhere if you got 10%, which is unheard of, that would give you only 20,000 a year. You're getting 28,000 a year. So 28,000 on 
a $200,000 investment, multiply that by, I'd say, it's not 10, it's going to be about 14%, 28 on the nose. You're going to get a 14% return on your money, baby. And the beauty of it, too, is, and please consult your CPA, that income, by the time you write off all your expenses and you write off the interest on your mortgage and you depreciate your what's left over, all your tax will be deferred until you sell the property. And if you're 1031, it even keeps getting deferred. So that's real estate on a small average commercial deal of 10 units in a nutshell. Do it. Go find an agent. Go find a broker. Go find a bank. I don't care if you got 200 grand laying around or you can scrape up. Go find a deal. Make sure the units rent for at least a thousand bucks a month. Buy 10 of them. Check your expenses. Make sure they don't exceed the five to half of the rental income and go buy the deal now. And once you get that one under your belt, you buy another one. And as rents go up, your income goes up. And always maintain your property because a good landlord always gets his rent.